Alright everybody, welcome, welcome back to uh, the Morpha Project. Ah, it's been some time, hasn't it? Yeah, probably. So, um, today we're going to be making sure that we got uh, this up and running properly. So we're going to be drawing this bad boy over here. Which might be a little bit difficult, but mm, I'm sure we could be able to manage that. You know... Every part has its own beginning, and every part has its own end. So, uh, to no further ado, um, let's get started. Let's get started, shall we? So, the main idea here is that we're going to be, uh, you know, creating this bad boy over here, and uh, fixing this part over here, and then, you know, add up all the stuff that we need. So, I need to look at that. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're already having trouble with all the uh, filters again, so I'm going to put those filters out. Nobody wants to see those filters today, because they actually are ruining a lot of things. And this is also a filter. No. Where's the rest of the filters? Um, no. Oh. Uh, let's see. No filters here. There you go, fix that bad boy up. Yep. It doesn't like loading filters at all. Good to know, good to know, good to know. You know, you never know when that happens. So, um today we're gonna be working on that and on this, so we should definitely see where we need to put this. Um This is the part where, um, that's that one. Alright, so no, no. This right, yeah. So these two are in the same category. Which means that we should definitely add this into a group. Yes, this also is in the group. And then this part right here is also, well, it's not in a group, but, and this one is also in there, yeah, alright. Now we need to get the last one in here, so we're going to add this into a group, quick group. Um, let me just see where I am here. This is this part right now. This part, no. This part? No. Which one is it? No, it's the other one. This one right here. So what I will do first is remove the bits that we don't want. We're going to put this into full screen, and we're going to go here. We don't need these parts. Oh, wait, wait hold on. Um, we do need this, but we need, I need to put this into a different layer. So I'm going to be using this as a representation. One, two bits, three bits, four bits. Going down like that, and then right over here needs to be done something. And until right over here, I need to draw for today. So this is going to be the bit. I 
I put this on low capacity because I actually need to fix some stuff here. Like over here, I can put this in there. And now I can remove the rest of the remaining drawing here. Oh. And now what we're going to do here today is going to be making sure that we have this all up and running. So, now let's get started by first drawing the color. Yeah, first draw the color. So we have 10, which we don't need. We actually need to go for 3.6. Also, I came to the realization that I actually need to update my uh, drawing itself. So I need to up... Oh, boy. And this is in this one, right? Yeah, there you go. Alright. Now when you add some detail to this bad boy. And that is it, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Now we actually need to fix this. So yeah. I hope I can be able to get this done by today, because that means that we are actually making lots of progress, which is nice. As always, good progress is a half the work. Um, uh, let's see. Alright, now we have done that, we can now move to here, and we can start drawing the uh, lines that we need to want to draw. Like, you know, like this, up here, I can go upwards again, making this whole idea, or at least, you know, realize it a bit. So if we have like this, kind of idea, go upwards go down again I'm now only sketching so that's all good there is no harm here to do because sketching is always good for everything to be happening And then we need to do the coloring on a different layer, I believe. I mean, probably we need to do a color on a different layer, but I don't know which one. Probably gonna need to merge the whole tree and then, you know, do the coloring on a different layer. That would be the best ideal situation because then I can actually add the color to that layer. So I should definitely merge then all the colors right here that I have, so all the colors of all the separate pieces and put them into one. That is the best and smartest move. Because that will actually fit, uh, fix a lot of stuff. And then we can just move on. Alright. Wait, 
but yeah, um, today I actually did a pretty good job at work. I uh, finally was able to work with the solid edge technology, so that was good. And now I'm actually working towards fic uh, learning how to use that program. I already finished the first part of the tutorial, the uh, Blood M software itself. That comes within the manual, so I'm hoping that I will be able to get every single page imprinted into my memory, so therefore I don't ever, ever, ever need to use it anymore. But uh, would be nice, at least you know, would be would be great. Oh, I'm gonna be using a lot here, in the, aren't I? Oh yes, definitely. So this is the tree right here. Lots of bark, lots of things. I need to figure out like where to go from there. Of course, I do want to have his lip more better drawn out once I have done the sketching part of it, but now we can see like where to go from here. So if we go for this, that would not work, right? No, it won't. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. So we need to draw. Which is a thing, by the way, we can draw properly, that's not a big deal. So, we need to draw. This way we can actually figure out like where to go from the other side into it. So we know now where to go. We have the guidelines. We just need to figure out like how to produce this kind of issue or how to produce this big amount of you know texture that needs to be drawn into it. And for now, we're just gonna go with the old-fashioned way of drawing the tree. Tree, so therefore you know, still having that same old feeling to it. But want a little bit of a twist, so and we can always make more lines into it anyway. We can actually fix now the tree that we have, which well if we fix it, then there is no need for any worries. Don't you think? Probably. There will be still some worries left, but Less worries, more easier for me to handle. So yeah, we're just gonna take our lovely time here and just keep on drawing. The bad, the worst thing, when worse come to worst, we can still fix some stuff here and there, but. The best thing about this is that it is actually quite relaxing. Even though that my ha head is a little bit heavy of the uh, of work of uh, today, but it should be fine. Um, well, at least you know it should be. But yeah, I have done a lot today, um, especially when you know learning like uh, twenty eight pages of work that I have to learn. To get the basics up and running, it was pretty hard. Also, I still don't get. I still have like I know now how to do the basic part, but I don't know to know the basic basic part. Like some stuff is still a little bit unknown to me. 
Yeah. Almost started gaping. Yikes. Um. So yeah. Fixing that bad boy up is important. There you go. Get this lovely detail in there. Because you know we want we want we want this we want this tree to feel like a tree. If things don't feel like trees, they don't go well. Well, you know, they don't. If things don't feel like trees, they might not look even like trees. And therefore, you know, things like a believability is lost. Which is the main problem here. Mm. Well, it's not a real problem. It's just a small problem. Small problem created by multiple problems in at once. There you go. I need to keep this one like steady as hell because this is how that tree works. Tree part works. And this should work, right? Oh yeah, that, that looks lovely. Alright, now to the second part. So this should be able to be done. And then we should be able to get everything that we want with it. Now we need to get this small bit now and here and there, making it feel more tree-like, and that should be it. There you go. The main issue with all of these big parts here and there, they ruin the uh, immersion of bark skin, which leads to this malfunction of a uh, texture pack, which we don't want. Therefore, we're going to fix that, and if we fix it properly, it actually will work for us in the benefit. Or well, at least, you know, work with us for now. Alright. Mm, look at that. We can actually go for like a lovely little home oak part here and there. Fix that part up. Now I need to get to this part right over here. Am I doing a little bit too much of the much of the same, but it should be fine. As long as we follow the guidelines, it should cause enough variety inside of the drawing itself to create this beautiful box skin, to be precise.
Alright. There we go. That is nice. It's quite a big one, this one to do anyway. So I might be stuck in for it for quite a while. But should not discover this. Uh, yeah. But it should not discourage us. Eh. But it should not discourage. Eh. It should not discourage me to be able to fix it. So, <sighs> why did I say us when I actually meant myself? So, therefore, you know, I should be referencing to myself itself. Oh well. English, one of the best languages to learn. Even though that it's not your native language, you can say that you still are good at it on the internet. And I will say I'm not very good at it. I try to do it better at it. But, uh, I'm trying to get better at it, not bettering at it. <laughs> I'm not using a bettering RAM, so therefore, you know, should not say another one. Uh, English. It's one of those. It's one of those languages that you try to use, and then you're like, ah. Yes, I totally forgot that that is not a word. Oh. <laughs> Worse, you think it's not a word, and then you know it is a word, and then you know people are like, "What the hell did you just said?" <laughs> Most likely, that's the main problem with it. Um. How lovely. So, um, we're gonna go over here. Gotta fix this part right there. Gotta pull this one up. There you go.
All right, there you go. Yep, so if this is the way to do it, if this is the way to do it, then I will be able to do it properly. I will do, I will be able to do it properly, right? Because this way I actually can create the side strokes inside of the drawing. Therefore, you know, I should be able to get things up and running properly. Oh, yes, I should be. If I do this, then I might be able to get the old-fashioned look in there as well. Oh boy. But that means that I also need to rework a lot of the red coloring as well. Mm. No? Let's figure out if this is the way to do it. What I'm now doing is actually just creating the effects in the Side lines. If this creates the effect of the main tree that we had before, we can actually get the original look on the tree as well. Therefore, I don't have to do anything of the shenanigans. And therefore, you know, I fix the thing. Also, it looks prettier. Having all the same trees but different kind of looks on it. Well, different kind of textures on it is not the best, but not the worst idea. And then go from here to there. I need to look for this. Um, I'm going to be double checking this then. I'm just going to pick up this color right over here. Put this down on this blob, which represents the drawing anyway. So I can see if this actually triggers the effect I want, the dedicated effect I want on it. So if I now add the color to it, so I'm gonna go for the good old fashioned color, which is this one. Yeah, probably. That's the color we start with, and then we're gonna go for the color that we have, which is like, you know, a little more lighter. No. This one right here. Much better. Oh yes, this does fix the thing. This will create the effect that I want in the first one. Right. It's not as sharp as the other one, but it does fix a lot of issues. Hmm. I could go for this dedicated effect because of how the tree works and I can transfer it into the other one. Good, good. 
That is actually quite good to hear. I was afraid it would not translate well. Oh well, you know, not translate, I mean, transist. Transist well enough, but... It looks like it does, so I'm very happy about that. The main happiness about it is actually that now we can actually get stuff moving. It's just a very different tree than the other one, the big one, on the other side. Which is not bad, honestly. I kind of like it. Also, now I can then know that if I merge the three two colors, I can then, you know, add that. I can start with that one, so I don't even have to use this one instead. I don't have to use this blank color. Not too long kind of lines. That's the main goal right here. Yeah, right. Alright, um, I need to go from down to top again. How is this going to be going? But I'm not supposed to go... Um, I cannot go... How do you say that? Too less detailed, that's the main idea. Really? Doesn't work? Oh, that sucks. Now it does work. Alright, apparently the big giant stroke was not, uh, was not more than 10 moves. Oh well. Memory, these, memory of these things. These days, cheese. Uh, come on, get that up and running. It's nice to see the full tree though. I really like it. Really like how it's getting to become, you know, the the whole thing getting all up and running. But of course, you know, it has its downsides. It means that you can see now more mistakes than ever because you know. You're going into the big league, into the big boy league. And the big boy league does have a lot of big boys in it. Lots of snakes. Lots of it. And knowing how well I'm actually trying to do here, it might look like, you know, I'm trying to do a very delicate move and try to do my very job and my very best, which is true, but I'm trying to get the hang of it because, you know, 
I actually need to do a lot more than just this part. Which does take more time, therefore, you know, it does take a long time to create. Also, because I have been learning today, I actually gonna not do the coloring because it actually requires more spe it requires more steps on one basic one. So I'm probably gonna be leaving that open for today. Of course, you know we already have seen now the blob here, so that that that's no that's no problem. But uh, I do need to do some stuff here and there. Which is gonna be removing a lot of the blur, a uh, lot of the filters, but honestly, I think that's gonna be a good idea anyway, or good, a good thing anyway. Removing all these filters, but yeah, um, I'm gonna be trying to do my very best here. Honestly, it's not gonna be the best of the best, but yeah, my head is a little bit full today because you know, learning. It takes time, it takes energy out of you. It takes consumption of all the things you learned. Like, you know, drawing... Drawing drawing, uh, drawing Mina correctly, for instance, that took also, like, a lot of energy out of me. But the result was good, which is nice. I've been struggling that with that for almost two years, so... I don't mind uh, making it correctly this time. And that is a good start. Especially as you can see how much strokes I actually already made. It's always a smart move when you feel that your hand is getting tired. To maybe think like, maybe I should take a break or something like that. And you now with a half an hour already in, or almost 40 minutes in I think. Yeah, almost 40 minutes in. It's a, it's a smart move to take a break once... Once you're done with the whole damn texturing. Well, this texturing. It's just not texturing like the modern days. It's like, well, you're doing texturing. Yes, I am actually doing texturing. But I'm doing texturing in such a way that it's actually absolutely like, what the hell are you doing? Kind of texturing. I'm doing the texturing in such a way that it is actually not recommended because normally people use stamps. Because, you know, people are lazy like that. And I'm not saying that it is a lazy work, it's just, you know, it's a it's a quality of life that, you know, you normally should implement a lot. The main problem is that you don't learn from those uh, from those stamps uh, how to do certain types of texture moves with your hands. So the hand coordination or hand memory, there you go. The hand memory, I'll, I'll, I like that, I, I like it, I like that idea. The hand memory is actually... Uh, or finger muscle, muscle memory, there you go, muscle memory, yeah, you have the correct word. The muscle memory in your hand is going to be less uh, than optimal because, well, you know, you're just using a stamp, therefore you don't train your own hand to learn how to draw certain types of things, so if you would ever consider to draw grass yourself, you might not be able, able to do it, so because you're only using a stamp, the job might be quicker, but, you know, it might look less good in the long term because well if you create your own grass and you draw it like you you're supposed to draw well you draw it the way you like to draw it all right you draw it the way you learned how to draw it because you never use a stamp or you use stamps in combination but you learn how to draw the grass then you know once the grass uh when once you perf perfected those mu muscle memories you will create better grass and therefore you know if you then use the blur tool for instance you can create very nice looking grass on a building very nice looking grass in a forest very nice looking grass wherever you want to have that grass but if you use a stamp for instance then you know sometimes the uh, sometimes the edges of the grass are not the right way to do things and you know the stamp only is there actually just to create shape and as long as you don't know how to create uh, lines, for instance, or things like that, it's important to see what, you, what you're drawing. So I can see what I'm drawing right now, but when I use this, I can see better what I'm drawing. And I see, like, for instance, right here, there are some issues, and I can implement some things here and there. 
but of course you don't want to overdo it because well if you do overdo it then well you know the whole i uh, otherwise you're gonna get a little bit of uh otherwise you're gonna go uh, this way which is fine which is fine but still this way is a little bit less dense and we need to keep it less dense because well you have a different tree you have this tree instead so therefore having a less dense kind of uh texturing is better because then you know it becomes believable that this tree is there even though that the other trees might be even though the other tree might be a little bit more detailed it's still you know a believable tree therefore you know it's still good uh, i hope that clears it up um, and I'm done for today. Yes, I am. Lovely. I'm gonna be saving this bad boy because I have no trust in this program. Well, I have trust in the program. I don't have trust in myself to not save this and then just close it and have, like, to do it all over again. So, um, yeah. I hope you all have enjoyed for today. Um, and thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then... I want to wish you all a lovely day, and uh, bye!